Hello Year 3, this is Miss Canu speaking. Welcome back to the spring term. I hope you've had a wonderful half term. Today we will be moving forward with our geography sessions. Here is our knowledge organiser for the term. As you can see, it is a continuation of learning about our environment, our carbon footprint, our footprint of the world, and also learning about how food is transported to and from, as well as the differences between renewable and non-renewable energy types. So, let's start off with our knowing more and remembering more statements. Our key question today is, why is water important. Question one. All the food we want or need in the UK can be grown in the UK. Is that true or false? Question two. What is the term used for the distance food travels? Is it A? food meters, B, food kilometers, C, food miles, or D, snack miles. Question three. What is the name used to describe when farmers in different countries are paid well for their produce? Question four, what does importing mean? At this point, pause the PowerPoint presentation, have a look through your answers, and when you are ready, press play to resume. So, question one, all the food we want or need in the UK can be grown in the UK. The answer is false. And the clue there is importing. We learnt last term about the importance of important food from different countries. Question two, what is the term used for the distance food travels? The answer is food miles. Question three, what is the name used to describe when farmers in different countries are paid well for their produce? The answer is fair trade. Question four, what does importing mean? Importing means bringing food or goods into the country. So, as stated before, our key question is why is water important? Our success criteria today is, I can identify ways in which we use water. I understand the differences in water availability around the world. I can explain reasons behind water scarcity. Have a look at our vocabulary. So my turn, your turn. Keywords that you know, pollution, sustainability, Natural resource. Keywords that you will meet. Global climate. Fresh and clean. Scarcity. What do we use energy for? Use this time now to pause the slideshow and write your answers in your exercise book. We use energy for many different reasons. For example, running a bath or a shower, for our dishwashers or for washing up, running taps, washing machines that we have at home to wash our clothes, or even for flushing the toilet. 
Did you know that each person in the United Kingdom on average uses 150 litres of water a day? A figure that has been growing every year by 1% since 1930? Have a think, is this sustainable? I want you to have a think, how could we save water during our daily lives? If you have someone home who is free, ask them to discuss this question or ask them later today. Here are our top 10 tips for saving water. By turning off the tap each time you brush your teeth, you can save up to 18 litres. That's a saving of 504 bottles a week. Have a shower instead of a bath. This will not only save water, but can also save money because heating water can account for 25% of your energy bill. Over one third of the water we use at home goes down the toilet. So if it's yellow, why not let it mellow? Put a full washing load on, rather than two half loads. We think our tap water is the best in the world. This is one area you should not cut back on. So keep a jug of water in the fridge, so you don't have to run the tap for as long for a cold drink. Fill the dishwasher and use an eco setting. Or wait and do the dishes all in one go, rather than throughout the day. If you're buying new appliances, Choose water efficient products, or even better, look for a product with a WaterWise recommended check mark. This will reduce your water use without even trying. A leaking tap can waste up to 15 litres of water a day, or 5,500 litres a year. That's enough to fill up five and a half fire engines. Use a water butt to catch water that could otherwise be taken away through our sewerage pipes. You could use this to clean your car or wash your windows, which will help you get into all those awkward nooks and crannies. Water your plants or garden with a watering can, rather than a hose pipe. Watering in the early morning and late afternoon will reduce evaporation to save water. By following these hints and tips, we can all work together to use less water in our everyday lives and help protect our beautiful environment for today's customers and future generations. Welsh Water, your not-for-profit water company. So, have a think. What sustainable choices do you already do to save water? I would like you to watch the video again and take notes about how much water could we save. So, here are some examples. Put a full washing load on, which saves 80 litres. Fix a leaking tap, which can save 5,500 litres per year. Have a shower instead of a bath, which could save 45 litres. Turn the tap off when brushing your teeth, which could save 18 litres and help protect our beautiful environment. So, your first task leads with this question. What sustainable choices can I make with water? I would like you to write a list of things that you could do to make sure that water is not wasted and record them in a table at the one here on the right. So divide your page into two. On the left, write things that I already do to save water. And on the right, things that I will do to save water. Below in the green is a word bank with different words that you can use such as energy, bills, money, liters, bath, shower and tap. Once you have finished that task, Try the challenge. What other benefits does saving water bring? A water scarcity is when there is not enough available clean water. There are a few reasons for people not having enough water. 
including overuse of water by people or animals, water pollution, not living close enough to sources of water, or drought when there is not enough rainfall. 2.1 billion people globally lack safe water at home. Of those people, 263 million spend more than 30 minutes per round trip collecting water. 844 million do not have basic drinking water services and 159 million drink water directly from surface sources such as streams or lakes. Have a conversation with the people in your home. According to this map, where is there scarcity of water? Use the key on the left to help you identify. Is, isn't there water everywhere? Remember, you need to pause the video when needed to make notes. is in the oceans. Only 2.5% of it is fresh water. And of this, two-thirds is locked up in glaciers and ice caps. Hardly any of it is usable. If this jug, full, represented all of the water there is in the world, then this is probably the usable amount of water in the world. Even if you've got lots of it, you may not be able to get to it. We often think of Africa as a dry continent, but it has the second largest store of groundwater and the most surface water of all the continents. The problem is that in some areas, that water isn't accessible, equally available, or safe to drink. Water isn't just needed for drinking. We use it in our manufacturing, energy production, farming, and in our homes is increasing and so is the demand for this water. So what can be done? Well, dams are being built around the world to try and provide a more consistent water supply. We do this by retaining water that could be used to even out the flow of the river throughout the year. But the construction of dams is expensive and can displace many local people. Does the building of water transfer schemes. These projects, like the South-North Water Transfer Scheme in China, are costly, but can be a way to redistribute water more evenly within a country. And what about all that salt water that we can't drink? Desalination plants can remove salt and provide a lot more useful water to the world, but the cost of this process are too high for many of the developing countries that would most benefit from it. On a local level, smaller scale solutions like conserving water in daily life and grey water recycling, which is using wastewater from dishwashers and washing machines to fill the cistern to flush toilets, can also help. But these small scale initiatives need lots of people to get involved if they're going to have a big impact. To start by remembering that water is precious and that we shouldn't waste it. Here is a case study. My name is Burkai and I am a fisherman. I live with my family in Monrovia, Liberia. The structure in front of me is a private lantern with a bath 
and it is built over the water so that waste can get washed away. Cold and hot water is provided in the latrine. Residents have to pay to use the facilities. The latrine is used by my family and other residents. A local primary school does not have latrine facilities, so children attending the school also use the latrine. Our town is home to approximately 75,000 people and the land it is built on is waterlogged. About 95% of the houses here do not have access to latrine facilities. Our town has a major unemployment problem. The area lacks proper sanitation and public toilets. The only public toilets in the area are pay to use toilets which the residents cannot afford. For this reason, people have to deficiate out in the open. The beach is often used as a toilet, which creates a health hazard as the water is used for drinking and fishing. Task 2. How does the way that we use water in the UK differ to other countries? Write a paragraph comparing water use. On the left are some questions. In the middle are some sentence starters. And on the right, it's a word bank. There is also a challenge. How can people save water? Pause the slideshow here and have a go at writing your paragraph. So, let's review and test the knowledge. What do we use water for? What can we do to save water? Do all places have the same access to water? Can you compare water use in the UK to another country? Here are some of the answers. Pause the slideshow here to compare yours to the ones on this slide. Our future planning. Next lesson, we'll be looking at these objectives. I can explain my footprint on the world and I can explain how to live sustainably. Well done for your attention this lesson and I hope you found out the many different reasons for why we use water and how we can use it efficiently.